After a year marked by health struggles and personal challenges, the Prince and Princess of Wales are set to bring the royal family together for a heartwarming Christmas at Sandringham. Amid King Charles and Princess Catherine's recoveries, this year's celebrations will carry extra significance as they embrace the holiday season with renewed hope. The Prince and Princess of Wales, both 42, will join senior members of the royal family at Sandringham for their traditional Christmas celebrations, bringing a sense of togetherness after a year of unprecedented trials. According to reports from the Mirror, the couple will attend the annual Christmas Day service at St. Mary Magdalene Church alongside King Charles and Queen Camilla. For the monarch, who is overseeing this year's festive preparations himself, this gathering is a poignant opportunity to rally his family after what has been a particularly difficult year. King Charles, 76, is currently at Sandringham, where sources describe him as happy and healthy despite his ongoing treatment for an undisclosed cancer diagnosis. This year, the monarch faced significant health challenges, including treatment for an enlarged prostate, but has reportedly been finding solace in outdoor activities on the Norfolk estate. His resilience and optimism have set the tone for the upcoming celebrations, with royal insiders noting how he has thrown himself into the holiday preparations with characteristic enthusiasm. The Princess of Wales has also faced her own health battle this year. Diagnosed with an undisclosed form of cancer following an abdominal operation in January, Catherine underwent a preventative course of chemotherapy. After months away from the public eye to focus on her recovery, the princess has been gradually resuming her royal duties. While her public appearances have been carefully managed, including significant events such as Trooping the Color, Remembrance Sunday, and Wimbledon, her upcoming role during the Emir of Qatar state visit in early December marks a major milestone in her return to royal life. Catherine's involvement in the state visit will include welcoming the Emir and his wife, Sheikha Jawahar, at the royal residence and accompanying them to a ceremonial welcome at Horse Guards Parade. However, the princess will not attend the formal state banquet later that evening, underscoring her ongoing focus on balancing her health and royal responsibilities. This measured return to public engagements reflects her determination to fully recover while fulfilling her role as a cornerstone of the monarchy. For Prince William, this year has been emotionally taxing as he juggles his royal duties with the weight of his loved one's health challenges. In a rare moment of vulnerability, the future king described 2024 as the hardest year of my life, highlighting the personal toll of witnessing both his wife and father navigate their diagnoses. However, the family's shared resilience and support for one another have been evident, especially as they prepare to come together for Christmas. This year's Christmas at Sandringham promises to be a meaningful celebration for the royal family, symbolizing their strength and unity in the face of adversity. With King Charles and the Princess of Wales showing remarkable courage throughout their health battles, the holiday season will serve as a moment of gratitude and hope for the future. As the royal family gathers under one roof, they remind us all of the importance of resilience, love, and togetherness during life's most challenging times.